Yes, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can edit like Magnates Media, if not better. If you wanna be able to charge $1,000 per project, you're gonna wanna study this video. The unorthodox replicant who killed millions is now on a most wanted list. Those who knew him best said he disappeared near the Outer Rim. Three days prior, he killed 86 soldiers visiting a temple on a nearby planet called Kaelin. Thanks to the power of AI, your only limitation is your creativity. I'm going to start by showing you how I prompt my images so they come out exactly how I envision them. Then, towards the end of this short 5 minute video, I'll show you how I animate them and make them look like they came straight out of a Hollywood movie. But that's the easy part. If you ask a six-year-old to paint you a picture of a dog, you can't yell at it after it gives you a picture of a chihuahua instead of a pit bull. Being overly specific is gonna bring your visions into reality. So let's build something. We need a background, we need an overlay, and then we need a foreground. Let's fire up ChatGPT. I've spent more late nights with her than any human being. The truth is, I'm not smart enough to be communicating the images I want. So the trick is to try and explain to the best of my ability what I want, and then she makes a prompt out of that. Here's what that looks like. Before I show you that million dollar prompt, I put together a package of all the assets from the Star Wars themed edit, a bunch of cinematic high detailed backgrounds, my favorite overlays, and a bunch of cool sound effects perfect for making videos like these. If you click the link in the description, you can buy this for $20. I'm just kidding, it's free. Now back to how I make these images. I have a blurry vision for an idea, and I need your help generating a prompt for a hyper-realistic sci-fi background. I want the camera angle to be from street level. Think Blade Runner meets Interstellar, but make it original. I want large towers, flying vehicles in the distance, dramatic lighting. Give me the exact prompt. Once she gives you the new prompt, you can make any tweaks to it, and then you open a new chat and paste it in. Now we want to use the same conversation to generate our characters, because she's going to know the exact lighting to use so that when we put them together, they match perfectly. So simply type in what kind of character you want, ask for the same lighting with a transparent or white background. I seem to get better results when I say white background. Now for this particular scene we're building, I want the camera to move from the right to the left. So we're going to need our background to be longer in width. And the perfect tool for that is Photoshop. Canva has the same feature, it's called Magic Expand. So open your image in Photoshop, select a box over the area you want to expand, and hit Generative Fill. And just like that, we have an image three times in length. Now at this point, you can find a cinematic overlay like Dust or Fire on Google, or I put a few of my favorites in a link below in the description. Now we're at the fun and easy part. We're gonna open up DaVinci Resolve, which has a free version by the way. Now we're gonna drag all of our images on the timeline. We're gonna make sure our overlay is set to screen and select it with the background and then make them a new compound clip. Then select everything together and click new fusion clip. Heading over to the fusion tab and pressing shift space, we're gonna add in an image plane for however many assets you have, a merge 3D, a render 3D, and a camera 3D. Once everything is connected like this, we can start selecting the image planes one by one and dragging our characters away from the background. We can then simply select the camera and make sure we're on the first frame, hit the keyframe Go over to the last frame of your clip and drag the camera where you want it to end. Then hit spline, click all the boxes, click this box, drag your cursor over all of them and press S. Now we can drag an adjustment clip over top of this, go to the color page, increase the saturation and shadows, and just like that you can compete with Magnates Media. 